Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. This is Gigi. Come on and get your thousand steps in. It's a beautiful morning this morning here in the 757. We did have some rain late last night, but uh, it's cleared up, and it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Oh, my goodness. You know, today is the first day of school for our children in Norfolk. And we want to uh, wish our children and we pray that our children have a blessed school year. We're kind of staggered here in the Tidewater area. We have Norfolk starting today. Next week will be Portsmouth, Suffolk, Virginia Beach, and maybe some other cities. And Chesapeake will be the last school going back on September the 3rd. But we're praying for our children everywhere. We're praying for our children, our parents, our teachers, our staff, our administrators, the bus drivers, the cafeteria workers, the librarians, uh, everybody, er everybody have a blessed, blessed um, school year. Oh my goodness. I hope y'all had a great weekend um, this past weekend. We certainly did um, a, a restful uh, weekend. Yesterday was worship. At Grace and Twine Ministries, we had visitors. Oh my goodness! And I gotta mention this: we had a we had a couple of special visitors among our visitors, um, none other than a giant in the gospel in this area, Reverend James Wynn and his daughter, Evangelist Valerie Wynn. Reverend James Wynn has been a mentor, spiritual mentor. Uh, to my husband and I in the ministry from our home church, First Baptist Church, South Portsmouth. And at 99 years old, when they came in yesterday, it was just like a breath of fresh air. And Reverend James Wynn, even at the age of 99, which proves to you that God is a keeper, <laughs> he, 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 he just... I shared so beautifully yesterday at Grace and Twine Ministries, and it was just a treat to have them in the service. Oh my goodness. Well, today I have a gem nugget inspired by our daily bread devotional, um, and it's talking about light. And my gem nugget for today is the offensive and defensive, let me turn that around, the defensive and the offensive weapon of light. Oh, I know I got you on that one, because I know you probably don't see light as particularly a weapon. But this is what David says in 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter, and the 29th and 30th verse. You, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against the truth. With my God, I can scale a wall. You know, David was a soldier. <laughs> he was a fighter. And he was so much of a fighter he had bloody hands. His hands were so bloody that God said, you can't build a temple. You're going to have to let your son build a temple. But <clears throat> David knew something about fighting. And one of the things that he knew, that he needed light in order to focus and see the enemy. That's when you use light as an offensive um, weapon. So you can see. How can you fight something that you can't see? It's like having blindfold, like a boxer having blindfolds on and getting in a boxing ring. But um, David knew in this, he used light as an offensive weapon. That's like we use the word of God. Because you know what the word says? Uh, the word is a lamp unto my feet. It guides my feet in how to go and how to even fight the enemy. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light 
onto my path. I, if I if I can't see where my, I'm going and, I, and I'm not guided by the light, I can't do nothing against the enemy. But then on the other hand, light can be your defense. You know, um, y'all know back in the day, as teenagers especially, your parents told you, you better be in the house by the time that that street light comes on because you have a defense when that light is on. Um, you can see. And matter of fact, you need to come in so you don't be out in the dark because y'all ain't been saved all your life. Y'all know the song was out there. The freaks come out at night. The crazies come out at night. Most crime is committed after dark. Now we got some bold ones now. They do stuff in broad daylight. But for the most part, stuff, dark stuff, crime, all those types of things happen mostly at night. And our parents knew that the light would be our defense. So we needed to get out of the dark, come into the house in the light so that we would be protected and defended against the dark. So in that way, we see that the light, especially the light of God, can be our defense as well as our offense. The song says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The one that saves me and pulls me out of trouble. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear when I've got the light? When I've got the light, and that is the light of God. He is my offensive and he is my defensive weapon. Praise God, praise God, praise God. I thank you for the light. That's why we need to continuously walk in the light. Walk in the light. Stay out of the dark. Stay out of the dark. And the way that you can lighten up your path is to get into the Word of God. David said it again. The Word is a light unto my feet. It'll guide me where I have to go. A light unto my feet and a, a light unto a, my path. A lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's a lamp that won't go out. It won't need continuous oil or batteries or electricity, but it's, it's a light all on its own. And that light is the light of the world, who is Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Keep that in mind. That's my gem nugget. And along that line, <laughs> we invite you to be what we call a gem light, a gem light. That means an online member. No matter where you are in the world, you can go to graceandtwineministries.com and become a, a monthly supporter. And uh, there's so many benefits to being a gem light. We always share the video, Be a Gem Light, on the Gem Nugget channel if you want to check that out. But we would love to be your pastors. We would love Grace and Twine Ministries to be your church, no matter where you are in the world, because we are reaching people all around the world. We are now over 20,000 subscribers and growing around the world. But again, don't forget, don't forget that you have a defensive weapon and an offensive weapon, and that is the light of the world, Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, my lawful kids, have a great first day of school. Bye-bye.